So I'm a big fan of Clay Newcomb bear grease. I've been a big fan of Clay ever since he killed them two bears in Arkansas and Oklahoma with a, with a timber ghost recurve because I was huge into traditional there for a while. And he has that method about James Lawrence shot pouching. So I shot this small doe back here on public land, Tioga State Forest here in northern Pennsylvania. I told Steve, my coworker who's doing the video in here, I said, I want to do that shot pouch and I, I want to do that. And I said, now's the time to do it. I don't, well, we're 1.7 miles from the camper. I was like, now's a good time to try it. So I'm, uh, I haven't watched that video but one time. I'm just going by memory here, cutting dew claws out and uh, removing that bone at the first joint. And then you'll use this tag, these tag ends of the hide to tie opposite legs and to wear it like a backpack on the way out. So I'm gonna break it down here. I'm gonna leave the guts in it, that way I don't get all messy. This small doe I shot, I hit her right in the neck with my flintlock, so it should be clean. I mean, it might get me a little bloody on my side, but we're gonna try it. All right, so I got it. I got the leg cut off at the joint and I got the dew claws on here. So opposite legs, dew claws, I guess will keep it from slipping apart. The knot, you know, not those. And that'll draw tight. Same with this. Gotta get those dew poles through so that they don't slip. That's the point of leaving them on. Okay, and I think it's this way, this way here. Good to walk out. Keep in mind this method you should have an extra orange vest to lay over the deer. In this case I did not have one. I just draped my orange vest over my front and Steve walked behind me so that there was no chance someone would see the deer without seeing orange. Ryan's giving it a go on the shot pouch. State game land. You gotta get out. There's deer here. That deer ended up being just as far as last year's, about two miles in, 1.9, so judging by Onyx, we ended up putting it through the pole because it was really killing my shoulders doing a shot pout method. <clears throat> so we just stuck it on the pole and I gutted it and we've been carrying it this way, taking a couple breaks. It's a small one, I told him if we shot one any bigger we'd have to do something different.